Hello everyone, welcome to Making Sawdust. I'm Kevin, thanks for joining me. I just finished up these massive 16 by 16 by 3 inch thick butcher blocks and I need to get them shipped to the customer in Georgia. But I don't have a photo booth in my dirt wall, dirt foundation, dirt floor, tiny basement workshop. So what I am going to do is grab my wife's freezer paper from the pantry, some scrap material, and I'm going to make a light diffuser photo booth, DIY style. You don't have to run to the hardware store to pick up frosted plexiglass or anything like that. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. So here's my plan guys, basically I'm going to make three frames, a back and two sides. I've cut these pieces here 16 inches and that's going to be my height. My freezer paper is 18 inches and I want to be able to wrap it around. So then I cut these additional pieces right here. They'll all be just glued together. I'd like to talk briefly about one of my favorite products. This is a, a fast cap product. 2P10. It is a cyan acrylate, which is just basically super glue, and an aerosol activator. I buy this on Amazon, and I was found this product, I think, over on Izzy Swan Woodworking. Uh, thank you, Izzy, for showing me some 2P10. I know a lot of other guys use fast cap products but I'll tell you what this is great for easy assembly quick assembly of fixtures jigs uh, things like that you need to stick right away couple extra wax usually guarantee that you did actually run out of staples. So here we go guys, we have three finished panels. DIY style man they don't have to be pretty use what you got not what you ain't is my motto they go together with a couple clamps I just have to remember to be careful not to poke a hole in my paper but they're easily repaired And there you go. What I do now, let's say we're going to take a picture of this car model a subscriber got for me. These are the bulbs that I bought. 
just an eco smart LED. I think I got them at Home Depot or something. Probably can buy them on Amazon as well. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you found some value and some good information on how to make a DIY photo booth, a light diffuser photo booth. This is super simple. Products that I had right here in my home. I didn't need to buy any plexiglass. I didn't need to buy any framework, anything like that. I did run out of staples in my hammer tacker, but oh well, that usually happens when I'm filming. Uh, again, use what you got, not what you ain't. This channel, Making Sawdust, is all about doing that. You don't have to own all the fancy tools. Sure, I'd want a $7,000 saw stop, but I'd never get it down in my basement, and I'd never get it back up. So I'm, I'm cool with my garage sale and Craigslist fine tools. They work just great. If I can provide some inspiration to you, some education, maybe some motivation, stick around, and uh, hey, hit that subscribe bell. Hit the thumbs up button and get out in your shop. Start making some sawdust. So thanks for joining me today, guys. And, uh, so thanks for joining me today, guys, watching the DIY light photo debut. Uh.